is Jerome and I'm a solution consultant with 110th Consulting and this is the first video of a three-part series where we're going to be covering the Salesforce nonprofit cloud for program solution and this first video is going to cover specifically how nonprofits can track programs and benefits using this solution. At its core, nonprofit cloud for programs helps organizations run programs more effectively to drive greater impact. On a day-to-day -day basis, it lets nonprofit organizations map out what they want their programs to achieve, plan all of the steps to get there, and track progress along the way. So they can see in real time how programs are running and then make tweaks to improve them or change them. It brings all the different pieces of your programs together in one place, from participant information to services provided to outcomes. So you get the full picture of all within um, one spot. This solution gives you crucial insights on what's working well and what needs improvement. That way you can use data to guide your decision making. Ultimately, it can help you manage programs smoothly from start to finish so you can create positive change. Uh, so nonprofits can create positive change for the people and causes they serve. This platform is specifically designed for nonprofit organizations so they can focus on their mission and not get bogged down in the process. Now we're going to talk about the different objects that are used in the nonprofit cloud solution for programs. Um, first, starting out with the person account. So the person account is where you will store all the information about the people you serve. It gives you a complete view of each individual and how they participated across your programs. You're also able to see their full history and also personalized services directly to them. Programs. Programs is where you track your core mission areas like after, after school tutoring, job training, housing assistance, and, and so on. Um, super helpful for managing each program efficiently and also improving outcomes. The program enrollment object. This object connects your participants to specific programs they're involved in. It basically associates people with programs. Benefits. The benefit object is used to track the services that are provided through your programs. It lets you manage and also track the benefits more effectively so more people get the support that they need. And lastly, benefit type. Benefit type object is used to group together similar benefits across programs. For example, if you provide tutoring in three different programs, you can use a benefit type to categorize all tutoring in one place. It's demo time. Now we're gonna hop over to Salesforce and you can watch me as I access Salesforce and view a participant's profile, view program and program enrollment data, and then lastly, view benefit and benefit type to gain insight on how services are being defined and offered. So here we are in Salesforce and we're at the home page of the program management and also case management, but now we're gonna access a person account or a participant's profile. For this example, we're gonna use Gabriel. Now, under Gabriel's personal or participation's profile, we can see relevant information on the right here about uh, contact information or address information. On the left side, we see a event timeline and what we see here is all of the services that have been dispersed to this particular participant. And in this timeline, we have the ability to filter uh, based on relevant data that we wanna see. And we can also click directly into a record to access that particular disbursement that was made. Going through the different tabs here, we also have enrollment. So here we're gonna see the program enrollment object and this is how we track all of the enrollments that Gabriel is a part of in our organization. As you can see, they participate or are enrolled in the job coaching program, the nutrition education, also long-term housing. And then below that, we can see the benefit assignment. Now this is assigning this particular participant to a benefit that is offered or service. And if we access a program first, we can see relevant program information, uh, we can see program details where we track the start and end date, end date so we can track historically uh, program information. Also, if there's any funding amount or um, we also have some summary fields here where uh, there's some helpful flex cards here where we can see all of the participants, uh, the number of participants or enrollees that are part of this program. Uh, we can also see the benefits or services that are offered under this program. And then we can see upcoming sessions for those particular benefits or session or uh, services. Uh, 
going back to Gabriel's record, we can see the benefit assignments. And like I mentioned before, these are the services that are assigned to Gabriel. And if we access one of them, we can see the introduction to healthy cooking class. Uh, some important things to call out here are again, the flex cards or the summary fields here. So we can see uh, the assigned quantity in hours year to date or the previous year. And we can also see the dispersed quantity of hours previous year or year to date or also month to date. The benefit details section holds the benefit type, as I mentioned before, and we'll cover that in a second. The program that is related to this particular service or benefit, the nutrition education. The units of measure, so how we're measuring these, uh, measuring the disbursements that are made through this benefit. And then we also have benefit options here where we can track again the start and end date, the status of this benefit, and also define a goal. And down here are those summary fields that I mentioned, but you can also see these up here at the top of the page as well. Now to cover benefit type, if we click into classes here, we can see that, like I mentioned before, this is how we track different services across all of our programs. And if we go to this related tab, we can see all of the different benefits that are offered and are defined as classes. Thanks so much for tuning into this first video. Please continue to watch the other two videos that are part of this series. You can connect with me on LinkedIn at Jerome Howard and also feel free to shoot me an email at jerome.howard at 110.consulting. Thank you.